Good morning, Thursday. Hey, you made it. We made it. <laughs> I'm here too, yes. <laughs> Y'all, it feels like it's been a long week already. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm so sore from this week. <laughs> I'm sore and I'm a little bit sleep deprived, just a little bit. Good morning, Carol, Barbara, Melita, Juanita. Hey, ladies. Well, I'm happy you're here for our Thursday class. There's Tara, Pamela. Good to see you bright and early. So we have a kettlebell workout for today. Now, if you don't have kettlebells, it's still totally fine. All these movements you can do with a hand weight, okay? Hey, Emily, Pamela, Juanita. Good to see you guys. You will need kettlebells or weights and you will need your mat. I've got my mat already set up here in the back for each circuit. There's Beverly, good morning, Beverly. So each circuit has a lower body, some sort of cardio, some sort of upper body, and an ab. So we're covering those four. We're covering those four today. There's Kenya, Jackie. Good morning, ladies. Good to see you guys. Awesome job getting here right on time. So I'm proud of you guys for being up early. I'm sure you had to have your clothes laid out for this. I'm sure you had to get some sleep last night. So already, Already you're winning. There's Catherine, Andrea. Good morning, ladies. So we will have three circuits. Each one we're gonna do three times, okay? Our goal for our rep range is 20. Now, if something gets too heavy, I reserve the right. We can always lower that a little bit. There's Yolanda. In our first um, circuit, we're gonna tackle a deadlift, a swing, a plyometric back row. <clears throat> the struggle is real this week. There's Tanya and a Russian twist, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, I guess I probably need more water and coffee. Um, also, while we're warming up, good morning, Andrea. Tracy, there's, Tracy's here early. Let's just start with some body weight squats, you guys. Let's check in with those legs. Good morning, Shanette. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel a leg day yesterday in my quads and my hamstrings and my glutes. Let's just do a few body weight squats. Check in on those legs. <laughs> Great job this week so far, you guys. That's why we're gonna keep the momentum going with kettlebells. You have every bit of my permission to go light today. So if you have choices of kettlebells, Definitely go with your lighter ones. If you're sore in your lower body, you don't have to do a heavy squat. You can do body weight only, or you can do a light kettlebell, or you can do a light hand weight, okay? All right, let's do, what else? What else, what else do I feel like we can do with these legs? Let's do a zombie walk. Clear out your mat a little bit. All right, start from the back of your area. Here we go, zombie walk. Ah, that stretch feels good. All right, turn and come back. So the process of warming up, we are just trying to warm up our bodies, also warm up our mind, get in the right mindset for exercise. Zombie walk. <laughs> this is appropriate. We're all a little bit probably sleep deprived this week. Good morning, Anita. One more set. Good, come back. All right, let's warm up a little bit of our upper body, okay? I'm trying to keep my pants up today. Arms up, knee drivers, one, two, that's it, Carol, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Second side for ten. One, two, three, high knee, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Let's get our heart, there's Angel. Good morning, Angel. Let's get our heart rate up. Go side to side hops. Here we go for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, big hop, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do one more warm up activity and then we'll get to the actual workout. Go ahead and get your mat set up. I bet I know what you're thinking. Are we doing inchworms? That's it, Tanya. You got it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do five inchworms, just five. We're gonna walk it out, we're gonna walk it back. You do not have to do a push up, okay? This is just an inchworm. I wanna stretch the hamstring, go all the way out, walk it all the way up. That's it. Here we go, two, just five. This is great for our arms to warm them up. It's just an all around good body weight only exercise. Three inchworm into a plank. Three, now the last two. Give me a push up if you can, okay Yolanda? Here's four, four. These are feeling hard today. All the way up. Last one. Here's five. Walk it out and push up. Good, walk it back in. Bring that mat to the side. So we need it. All right, let's talk about today's workout, okay? Real quick. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Angel. Y'all, a big thank you goes out to our four sponsors today. I wanna thank both our Tanyas, Tanya Morton, Tanya Dennis, and then two sisters, Tabitha Taylor and Christy Jamison. Um, Tanya and Tanya both come to our class at 5 a.m. But a quick shout out to Christy and Tabby. They come and do the replay every night together and they have been doing it since March, you guys. So I just, they don't come to the live class, but they do class every day on their own at Christie's Garage. <laughs> so I wanna give them a shout out. Good morning, Crystal, she's back. Today's workout is gonna be four things. You've got a deadlift right here. We're gonna do that for 15 to 20. Then we've got swings, kettlebell swings a plyometric back row where you're gonna row, set it down, switch, and then do another row, and then set it down and switch. Then you've got a Russian twist. <laughs> struggle bus is loading. Okay, let's just all get on the struggle bus, okay? I'll drive the struggle bus <laughs> as long as we all get on it together, okay? <laughs> so let's start with your deadlift weight, okay? You can choose light, heavy, whatever you wanna do for this deadlift, but let's get it done. Let's get it done, y'all. I'm gonna pick my 20 pound weight. Yes, that's light. Everybody's on the struggle bus today. Here we go, let's do deadlifts for 15. And then next round we'll go to 20, okay? Here's two, stretch those hammies. Three, four, I absolutely can, Lisa. Five, I just got your direct message. Six, I will send you that information. Seven, squeeze. Eight, squeeze. Nine, good deadlifts. 10, feel a stretch. 11, 12, we're gonna get this work done today. 13, I promise you. 14, and 15, good. All right, with that same kettlebell, or you can use a hand weight, you've got, you've got kettlebell swings. Now I want you to stay upright, go a little bit wider than a basic squat. You're gonna go between your arms, I mean between your legs. Now your arms are not actually doing the movement. It comes from your legs and your glutes. It looks like this. Here we go, y'all, for 15. One, two, just stand up. Three, pop your hips. Four, five, Six, seven, it's not an arm movement. Eight, nine, that's it, Patty. 10, she made it. Five, four, come on, kettlebells. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, next up, you've got the plyometric back row. 
So what we, I want you to do is if you have a mat, set your kettlebell down. You're going to row, then set it down, and then row with the other hand, okay? Ready? We've got 10 on each side for a total of 20. Start right here. One, set it down, switch. Two, switch. Switch sides. Four, five, quick step. Six, that's it. Seven, you got it. Switch. Eight, nine, ten. Halfway, 11, that's it, Lisa. 12, 13, you got it, Crystal. 14, 15, 16, four more. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Let's get that to the side. Now remember, let me get a hand weight real quick. If you don't have a kettlebell, you're just gonna do a back row with your weight. You're gonna do your swing like this. You're gonna do your deadlifts like that, okay? So if you have to use a hand weight, you can substitute that wherever you need. All right, grab your mat. You've got a Russian twist coming up. Let's go to the floor. Here we go. Russian twist with your hand weight or your kettlebell. With this one, sit back, knees bent, feet up off the ground if you can. If not, rest them on the floor. Ready? Here we go. One, two, two, three, three, four. Tap your kettlebell. Five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. That's halfway. Eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen. Feet up. Fifteen. Five more. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19 and 20. Oh man, that was hurting in my forearms just holding the weight. Good morning, Crystal Sims. All right, stand it up. Here is your water break, y'all. Get a quick drink. We've got round two coming up. Hopefully, that makes sense, you guys. We're gonna go a little bit quicker this round. Starting with deadlifts. Starting with deadlifts. And if you feel like you can go a little bit heavier, grab those heavier weights now, okay? I'm just gonna go up one notch. 25s. Straight leg deadlifts, this will help get some circulation to those sore muscles, all right? Here we go, 20, one. Two deadlifts. Three. Four. You're using a kettlebell. Five. Or hand weights. Six. That's it. Seven. Optionette. Eight. Please. Nine. Good job, Tracy. Ten. Halfway. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, five more, 16, you're doing it, 17, 18, 19, one more, and 20, good. All right, set that weight down. Up next is swings. I want you to focus on keeping your shoulders up. Never want you to bend over like this. That could open up your back and open you up to injury. So you're gonna be upright when you pick up that kettlebell. Ready? Or grab one hand weight. Swing between your legs. Your arms are just holding it. One, two, three, 
four, pop, five, six, that's it, Tanya, seven, eight, nine, good job, Barbara, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five, four more, three, two, that's it, Patty, and one. Good job on those swings, okay? And if you're still working on your form, we'll get you there, okay? It's a process. All right, grab your mat so you can have something to set your kettlebell on. We've got the plyometric back rows. So it's a row, then a switch hop. Row and then a switch hop, okay? Here we go for 20. 10 each side. One. Switch, two, three, four, five, that's it, Catherine, six, switch, seven, switch hop, eight, quick feet, nine, ten, that keeps your heart rate up, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, six more, 15, 16, you got it Yolanda, 17, 18, 19, one more, and 20. Man, I can feel that I'm breathing heavy. All right, let's go to your mat. We've got that. Kettlebell or hand weight, either one. So if you're using the kettlebell, you can actually tap it down on the mat. Ready? Here we go, Kenya. 20 each side. And one, two, two, three. That's it. Four, four, five, five, six. Six, Russian twist, seven, seven, eight, eight, keep breathing, nine, nine, halfway, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, we're almost there, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. 20. Oh man. So I'm feeling that. I'm feeling every bit of that. Those last five on the Russian twist. Those last five should feel like failure, okay? Deep breath. One more round coming up, y'all. Reset. Get ready for deadlifts. I'm gonna grab a quick drink of my coffee. I need it. I really need it. All right, one more round, starting with deadlift. And hopefully everyone knows that we start officially, 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 we start our challenge, our eight week build up to the holidays challenge. Starting on Monday, over the weekend, I think it's on Sunday, is November 1st. Here we go, let's keep talking and doing deadlifts. Here we go, deadlifts for 20. Just get a nice stretch back here. Nothing crazy, one, two. So the purpose of the challenge, three, four, is for us to have something to keep us on track, five, as we build up to Thanksgiving, six, and through Christmas, seven, so that we can still fit into our clothes, eight, over the holidays, nine, 10. Now based on your goals, 11. This might be a weight loss challenge. 12, 13. This might be a maintenance challenge. 14, but whatever the case, 15, squeeze. 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, and 20, squeeze, 
you will be responsible for setting your own goal, setting your own goal, tracking it, deciding if you want to get on the scale. Is this going to be a, a scale-based challenge for you? Or do you have some non-scale victories you want to hit, okay? Swings. And we will talk about different focuses. Focuses? We'll talk about different things each week. Here we go, kettlebell swings. Let's go for 20. One, last set of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight more, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, three more, eighteen. 19, pop those hips, and 20. Good. Hopefully you can see the form I'm wanting you to get. You're not going way, way down here. You're kind of here. You're standing upright, and pop, pop. All right, your third one is your plyometric back row. So for me personally, I'm just putting this out there, I'm gonna get on the scale tomorrow. That's gonna be my starting weight, starting on Friday. It's up to you whether you want to do that as well, but we can check in about it. Just know we are your accountability for this, okay? Bring your ideas, bring your, bring your progress to class and we'll talk it through. Here we go. Plyo back row, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, keep rowing, eight, nine, ten, that's it, Anita, eleven, twelve, that's it, Juanita, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. All right, last set of Russian twist. Get your mat. The main thing about, I'm including Halloween in this one, which is why we're kicking it off. <laughs> There's always going to be an excuse, a reason around every corner to just go all out, okay? That's not saying we won't enjoy Thanksgiving. Here we go for 20. And one, two, I mean, two, and three, and four, five, but all the other days, Six, so we're gonna stay on track. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, four more, seventeen. 18, push, 19, 20, and 20. Oh man, those are tough. All right, set your kettlebells to the side. Here's your chance for water, okay? Breathe, breathe, get a drink. And in order to sign up, all you have to do is in class or to the to the post that I posted on my, my page, you just have to say, I'm in, okay? It's as simple as that and you're enrolled in the challenge, okay? All right, y'all, here's our next circuit. We've got two more circuits to do. We're gonna do a squat. You're gonna grab a weight, a kettlebell, or you can do this one body weight only, okay? 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do my first one body weight only. So you're welcome to join me or you can grab us a weight. We've got a squat, we've got a one arm swing, a tricep extension, and an ab roll up, okay? Here we go, y'all ready? Body weight squats or pick up a weight. Whatever you choose, I'm okay with. I just know my glutes are so sore. Three, four, five, this actually feels good. Six, seven, eight, so I've been on a few. Nine, 10, little food adventures this summer. 11, 12, 13, so for my 14, 15, I've been thinking about my goals. 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20. For me personally, I would like to get back to my pre-COVID weight. So I'm about five pounds up from that. So that's what I'm gonna work towards from now until the holidays. All right, y'all, swings. You ready for this? I'm gonna grab the 20. So think about goals that you want to hit over the next eight weeks. And you can message me privately or you can post them in our class and we'll help you stick to those, okay? A one arm swing looks like this. One arm and then switch at the top, okay? Now if you don't have a kettlebell, you probably want to do this with two hands instead of one. Here we go for 20. One, two, switch at the top, three, Four, five, six, seven. Make sure you've got a good grip. Eight, nine, we can't afford. 10, any holes in the drywall today? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Switch at the top. 17, 18, 19 and 20. Good job on those. So I'm holding onto the handle, one on one side, one on the other, so that one side's always available to do the switcheroo, okay? That's your one arm swing. Here we go, tricep overhead. Grab it in an overhead, overhead, overhand, overhand grip. Let's go, up, over. Here we go, triceps, ready? Elbows in, one, two, three, that's it, Catherine, four, five, keep pushing, six, seven, eight, next round, nine, you can go heavier, 10 if you want to, 11, 12, 13, lots of flexibility today, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, that's your tricep extension. All right, get your mat rolled out. Here's your ab movement. So today we're gonna do an ab roll up using a kettlebell overhead. I'm putting these down to protect my hardwoods which are laminate, by the way. Good morning, Tiffany. All right, y'all, lay it all the way back. So with, with a kettlebell ab roll up, put the, put the weight back here so you have something to hold on to. And we're just gonna lift our feet to the sky. Ready? Here we go. Legs out. One. It's just a little lift. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, my mat's rolling up, eight, nine, ten, who can do five more? Here we go, five, four, Three, two, 
and one. Whew. All right, roll it up. So I don't, I don't know what to say about that, except my mat kept crunching up behind my back. So I don't know if you experienced that too. We'll have to figure that out for the next round. All right, set your mat to the side, y'all. That is your four movements. Four moves in your second circuit, okay? Get a quick sip, sip of water. Set two, squat, swing, tricep, ab roll up, okay? So if you feel like you can, go ahead and grab a kettlebell and add weight to the squat. If your legs are too sore, I get it. You can always go body weight only. Ready? Here we go, y'all. One, two, I feel like a little bit of work. Three, to my sore legs. Four, it's gonna help with circulation. Five, six, help the recovery process. Seven, eight, nine, squat, good. 10, that's it, Crystal. 11, <laughs> 12, 13, well that makes two of us. 14, her mat was rolling up too. 15, didn't expect that. 16, 17, 18, two more. 19, and 20, good squats. All right, I went with my light one on that one. That's a 20 pounder for me. All right, you've got one arm swings. So hopefully everybody has this one. A one arm swing, you're switching at the top, keeping your hand on this side. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell, just use a hand weight and do two hands on that hand weight. There's not really a good place to exchange. Ready? Here we go for 20, y'all. One, two, that's it, Kenya. Three, four, you got it, Tanya. Five, six, switch. Seven, switch. Eight, nine, 10, halfway. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, keep pushing, 18, 19, 20, breathe, all right, the sweat is really pouring down, the sweat is starting to pour, that's it Juanita, her legs are sore, I tell you what though, a little bit of that stretch is going to actually loosen them up. Here we go, triceps overhead. Ready? Up, bend your elbows. Two, three, get to 20. Four, five, that's it, Tracy. Six, seven, eight, you can split your stance. Nine, 10, 11, this helps me. 12, 13, lock my core in, 14, 15, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring it down. All right, I'm gonna make a slight modification to this one. Instead of doing an ab roll up, what we're gonna do, grab your mat, we're gonna do a hold with our kettlebell, you're just gonna hold it above your chest while you raise your legs. So you won't be picking your hips up off the ground. Just grab a heavy to medium to light kettlebell. Here we go. Right here and a leg raise. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Hold that weight. Four, bring it to the kettlebell. Five, bring those legs up. Six, that's it, Thea. Seven, eight, 
15 to 20, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 5 more, 5, that's it Jeanette, 4, that's it Christina, 3, 2, and 1, alright, roll it up, I like that one a little bit better, I did still feel that crunching up under me, alright, stand up, get water, you've got 5 seconds, if you want to get water. Okay, maybe 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, y'all, we've got our third and final round of squats coming up. Pick your weight, which also increases the difficulty level, okay? All right, I'm gonna go with my, my 25 pounder. Ready? Let's do these squats. Think about your squat form. If you're going late, late. If you're going light, I want you to think about form. Shoulders up, and then sit back in that chair. There we go, that's a good squat. Squeeze at the top. Two, three, that's it. Four, five, you got it ladies. Six, seven, that's it Pamela. Eight, that's it Jackie. Nine, 10, you're halfway, 11, 12, 13, keep going, 14, 15, five more, five, four squat, three, two, and one, you did it, no more squats. No more squats. All right, we do have a one arm swing coming up. One arm swing, very much cardiovascular on this one. Ready? Grab it from one side. Switch at the top. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, my hands are getting sweaty. Nine, 10, hold on to that kettlebell. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, switch. 19, and 20. All right, that's good on the heart to get your heart rate up, okay? Let's do the overhead triceps. Woo, sweat's coming in my eye. Here we go, grab your kettlebell overhead or your hand weight, overhand grip, up and over. Here we go for triceps. One, two, keep those elbows in. Three, that's it, Tanya. Four, keep pushing. Five, six, seven, eight, you got it. Nine, 10, come on, Carol. 10, nine, eight, keep breathing. Seven, six, five, four, press. Three, two, and one. Urgh. All right, grab your mat. Let's go down for your abs. All right, third round. Let's try something even more different. <laughs> more different, <laughs> slightly different. Sometimes my words don't work and I can't get them, get them out. All right, we're gonna do a chest press while our legs come up. Chest press with your kettlebell. Let's try it. But you can do either of the other two also. You can just do a static hold. 
We're just trying some <laughs> to get something harder out of the movement. Ready? Legs up, now down. One. Two, chest press. Three, legs up. Four. Five. Six, last one. Seven in this circuit. Eight, then we move on to our last circuit. Nine. Ten, keep sweating. Eleven. Twelve, that's it, Beverly. Thirteen, that's it, Pamela. Fourteen. Fifteen, legs straight. Five more. Four, that's it, Crystal. Three. Two. And one. Roll it up. Man, those were tough. All right, we've got one more circuit coming up, you guys. Here we go, stand up and let's talk. Get water if needed. So you've got four movements, your last four coming up. Three rounds of those. We've got a lunge with a pull through. We are gonna use a kettlebell or a weight on that. We've got a figure eight where we pass it through our legs. Similar, actually sort of similar to the lunge pull through. We'll build off of that. Then we'll go over, overhand grip with a bicep curl. And your fourth one is a plank with a pull through, okay? Those four movements, three rounds, and we're done, you guys. Mm. Here we go. So I'm gonna grab my hand weight for this one. It's a lunge pull through. So what I want you to do is do a front lunge for this round. You're gonna go forward and then you're gonna pull that through and come back up. Pull it through and come back up out of it, okay? Here we go, let's go for 20 this round. Front lunge, pull it through, one, two, pull it through, three, good lunge, four, pull it through, five, and up, six, you got it now, seven, lunge it out, pull it through, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, five more, 16, hey Ramona, 17, 18, last two, 19, and 20, good, set it down for a sec. Do you guys remember the figure eight? This is one where you're in a squat position right here and you're literally passing it through, passing it through, okay? I did find that the lower, the lower you stay on this one, the better. Now, if you don't have kettlebells and you're working with a hand weight, try it, try it with a hand weight. If not, I want you to turn this one into a swing, okay? Here we go, figure eight starts like this. It's like a one-handed, but then you pass it through. One, two, three, pass it. Four, five, six, you got it. Seven, eight, nine, 10, halfway. 11, 12, figure eight, 13, 14, pass it, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So it really feels like a squat. <laughs> it does, admittedly so. All right, overhand grip. Let's go for a bicep curl with your kettlebell or weights. One, two, three, you got it. Four, nice. Five, just upper body. 
six, seven, get to 15, eight, nine, that's it, 10, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right, get out your mat. You've got a plank with a pull through. So I'm gonna double up my mat, fold it in half, so my hands have lots of cushion. When you plank pull through, sort of like a renegade row, you set your kettlebell up on one side, then you're gonna plank just on top of that. Pull it through, set it down, and go back into a plank. Ready? Here we go. Go down into a plank. You've got 20. Pull it across. Set it down. One. Pull it across. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Look at that sweat pouring. Seven. Eight. I don't know about you. Nine. Ten. But somebody turn the faucet on. Eleven. 12, pull it across, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, come up. All right, y'all, those are your four movements. It goes by quick. We've got two more sets of that. And that's it, Melita. And if you're still looking for kettlebells, I saw something at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods the other day. They've got kettlebells in kilograms, okay? The, the metric system, what the rest of the world uses. And if you just do the math, you can figure out what you need. Anywhere from a, you know, 18, 20, 22, 26, you can get a lot of good use out of that, okay? So don't be afraid of the metric system. If you see some kettlebells um, advertising kgs, go for it, okay? Just want to tell you. Ready for the lunge pull through? So the last round we did a front lunge pull through. We're going to attempt a rear lunge pull through. Let me see if it's possible first. Here we go. Go back, pull it through. That's it, okay? Let's do it. 20 each side, rear lunge pull through, and one. And two, three, four, play it against sports, five, and Franklin has them too, six, seven, thank you, Patty, eight, this is a restocking, y'all, ten, so don't miss out, eleven, I'm getting some new weights, twelve, 13, if you want to get stronger, 14, 15, and continue to be challenged, 16, 17, you got to expand, 18, your home gym, 19, and 20, that's it. I think when we all first started this, it was like, hey, grab two hand weights and you should be fine for a while. Well, after a few months, it's no longer gonna challenge us, okay? So keep expanding. Here we go with the figure eights. Ready? Hold that low squat, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you gotta trust yourself. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's it, Jeanette, 13, 14, 15, go at an angle, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Ooh. those get my heart rate up, breathe, here we go, bicep curls, overhand grip, ready, let's do it, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're halfway. Eleven, 
12, hold it right here. 13, 14, I can feel this one. 15 in my shoulders too. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, pull in your mat. Plank pull throughs. Set it right there, plank over top. Pull it through for 20, y'all. Ready, here we go. Keep your hips low. And one, two, you can use a kettlebell. Three, or a hand weight. Four, five, six, pull through. Seven, eight, nine, 10. That's it, Yolanda. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up. All right, y'all. All my sweat is pouring off my face into like a little spot this big around. All right, we've got one more round. One more round. We can do this. We're gonna get you out of here early. It's always a good thing when we get out of here early. A couple reminders. Tomorrow is Friday. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow is Friday. We're gonna do abs. We're gonna do something new for abs. I don't know what, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do abs. And our challenge starts tomorrow. It's sponsored by Nashville New Podcast. They're the ladies that have candid conversations about what's happening in our everyday lives. So it's two ladies, they both come to our class. Christina Jordan and Anya George are the co-hosts. I've been on their podcast a couple of times and they wanted to sponsor a some sort of challenge for us for the holidays. So we'll be talking about that all this month, all this week. Let's do rear lunges, okay? Here we go. Rear lunge, one, for our holiday. Two, get fit, stay fit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm all about nine, everything in moderation, 10. So this is a way, 11, for me to enjoy, 12, enjoy some holiday eating, 13, 14, because I love to bake, 15, as it gets closer, 16, 17, pass it through, 18, 19, and 20. Good lunges. And if we're not careful, hey Alicia, that holiday baking, we could be up five pounds. <laughs> if we're not careful. <clears throat> here we go. Figure eights, y'all. Ready? Start here. And one, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get to 20. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 5, 4, pass it through, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it around, breathe. Last set of bicep curls, y'all. We've got two movements to go. We can do this, come on. Come on, Tanya. You're almost there. Ready? Bicep curls. Grab your weight. One, two, three, four. Keep curling. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're halfway. Eleven, y'all. Twelve. And remember also. 13, today's the last day. 14, to early vote. 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19 and 20. Today is the last day to early vote. I'll say that again for those in the back. You can always go on election day, that is true. Or you can go now and just sleep easy at night knowing you've done everything you can to make your voice heard, okay? Plank, pull through. Go up into a plank. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Get to 20, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, four more, 17, push, 18, 19, and 20. Good. All right, come up. I wish you guys could see my mat. Maybe you can. Look at that. <laughs> can you see that sweat? Yes, the sweat is real. All right, you guys, tap back and forth. Let's roll our shoulders. Let's cool down a little bit. Good. Roll them forward. Good. You did it on a Thursday. You pushed through. If you're still on the struggle bus, now that's up to you. <laughs> because we got energy. We got life out of that workout. You should be feeling better now. Switch than when you logged in an hour ago, okay? That's how exercise works. Thank you, Barbara. Exercise gives you energy. So if anyone tries to tell you, I just don't have the energy to exercise, that's where the energy lives. It lives in a big tank of metabolism in your body. Switch, that you have to tap into it. You have to tap, tap, tap at the door of metabolism and say, hello, metabolism. I am here waiting for my energy. Isn't that right? <laughs> you gotta stoke the fire, you guys, in order to get energy out of your workout. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you for your sponsorship. Thank you, Kenya. Again, thank you, Tanya, Tabitha Taylor, Christy Jameson, and Tanya Dennis. You guys, thank you all for sponsoring this month. Next month, we roll over a whole new month of sponsors. You guys, thanks for keeping it going. That was a good kettlebell workout. It was well-rounded, I will say that. It wasn't any one part, because right now all our parts are sore. My legs, my shoulders are freaking sore from Tuesday. All right, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Thanks, Anita, Juanita. Bye, ladies. Have a great day, okay? Early voting ends today, if you haven't done it already. And you know, we will be here every day next week, no matter what happens on the news and with the election. We're gonna get up next Thursday. Thank you, Catherine. She's off the, the, the struggle bus. Yes, yes. Check out all that sweat. Sweat on my wrists. Sweat. Mm, 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 mm. See you, Andrea. Bye, y'all.